Hello folks, this is Robert Cook. Welcome back to the second video of my series to complement the uh, series of articles over at Connected.com as shown here on the browser uh, on how to interpret piping and instrumentation diagrams. What I have up here on the screen, if you don't have the file, please go and download the uh, complimentary file or you can just follow along here for now. What I have up here on the screen loaded in AutoCAD are two windows. On the left is the first of the PNID lead sheets that I pr go through in my series. And then on the right, I have a couple example PNIDs from some general projects that I've worked on in the past. I've uh, provided just uh, one here that's on uh, tank uh, receiving chemicals uh, from a plant uh, with a pump system and uh, another one with just an air stripper that may be used to strip any one of a number of things from a fluid that's uh, being uh, sent downstream. So let's walk through the first PNID uh, on the left and I want to begin with instrumentation symbols. Now these lead sheets as I pointed out in my series every company has its own ways and means with regards to lead sheets and that's fine but most of them in my experience contain 90 percent of the same information because they are after all definition documents for how symbology is applied on PNIDs. So they may look different depending on where you go and and what you're doing but for the most part they should contain pretty much the same stuff. Um, I'm going to dig right in with the with the area that I find tends to give new engineers the most trouble and that's the symbology. The symbology is really broken down into two parts. It's the codes that are used inside the so-called bubbles. These are based on ISA standard uh, here is in, in this lead sheet, I, I'm referencing 5.1 from 1984. They've, they've really uh, been updated a little bit, but uh, for the most part, they're all the same to this day, which includes all the definitions of the letter characters that go inside, and then actually the symbols themselves on the right side under instrument symbols. So let's look at the symbols just to, be, to begin this uh, video and understand very quickly how they're used. A circle symbol is a symbol that's used to represent a physical device in the field, locally mounted somewhere. Locally is a, is a relative term. Local could mean the, if you come over here, the symbol is an actual flow indicating transmitter. That's local to the, the piping in which it's installed. Uh, it could be a level indicating transmitter, which is installed right on the sump of this stripper. It could be a pressure gauge, otherwise known as a pressure indicator, which is locally installed on the pipe, on the discharge of the pump. Um, so if, if it's a circle, it's generally in the field, locally mounted to some piece of equipment. And that's all you need to know. Really, it's, uh, it could be anything. It could be a physical device measuring level, flow, temperature. It could be a pH meter. It could be an analyzer. It could be anything. But it's locally mounted. You can see it. It's, it's a physical device. The next symbol down, the circle with a line through it, simply means that the device, whatever it may be, is mounted on the face of a panel. Uh, later in the series, I will provide some photos that compare the the abstract symbols that I'm illustrating here to the real world. I was debating doing it here but I, it's just too much information, there's too many windows and I'm and I'm thinking that it's going to be hard to manage. So for now I'm just going to describe what the symbols mean and then we can look at the, some of the photos from some select plant pictures later. But uh, it's not too hard to imagine the types of devices you might have, you might see mounted to a panel um, it could be uh, a controller that's uh, used to control temperature in a tank. It could be uh, any, any type of uh, a meter that's used to, to illustrate some information. Uh, it could be push buttons or switches that are used to control equipment. 
Um, but again, circle means physical device, not some abstract entity like a um, graphic on a control screen at a DCS or a, a human machine interface. This is something you can feel, touch, see, and work with with your hands. So that's that's an important distinction. Um, when you move down to the next one, locally panel mounted, this, this is a bit of an arbitrary and relative reference. A facility might have, for example, a bunch of panels out in the field that are locally mounted to unit operations. Um, in my field, uh, where I, I provide systems that are handling byproducts, wastewater, it's not uncommon for, for my systems to include things like reverse osmosis, skids, ion exchange processes, filters, centrifuges, uh, burners for uh, hot thermal fluid, uh, various desorption devices. And a lot of times these equipment will come with their own panels. So you could consider that devices that you want to apply symbology for, um, for unit operations having your own panel uh, with the double lines and then you may have a main panel uh, that you may want to illustrate with just a uh, single line. The point is, is really uh, up to the designers and, and how you interpret what's a local panel uh, front of main panel mounted. It, it, I wouldn't get too hung up on that. Just know that if it's got some lines in a circle it's panel mounted. That's all there is to it. Um, moving down the line, again, this is a physical device. You have back of panel mounted or inaccessible. Uh, let's say you have a data logger that really doesn't have any interface to it for, for, from which operators need to, to work with it. It may be installed inside the panel. It's a physical device. It's, it may be, um, inaccessible normally without having to physically open the panel and you may show it that way. In the old days with the, the old style boards that you walk behind uh, where is where this symbol I believe hails from it was often the case that you would walk behind the panel and, and there would be various uh, inaccessible normally inaccessible devices meaning you don't normally need to access see or deal with that device as part of the operation of the facility. It's still important. You still want to show it because it might have critical uh, interface with the process controls, but uh, it's not accessible to the operators. So in summary, circles, physical devices out in the field next to pump equipment, line through it through a main panel, a uh, secondary panel, uh, local in the field, um, and then you have inaccessible mounted. Some minor plays on the circle is where you have two instruments sharing a common housing. Um, let's say for example you have a flow meter which has uh, some switches in it that would um, could be used to wire for high or low flow alarms or for switches that might on the case of a level element might invoke some sort of stop interlock so the the device provides multiple functions but the all of the electronics associated with it are inside of a common housing that you really can't tell from outward appearance that there's a lot more going on than just a single core function um, so you would show that as a double circle sitting side by side which just illustrates that it's uh, inside a common housing I'm not sure that I have one here to, to illustrate that, but uh, yes, I do. Say, for example, here in this case of this level element right here, this level element has multiple functions. This tank was originally designed to receive fluids that could phase separate into an aqueous and, and, and organic phase. And so these floats here were illustrating that they could measure the interface at the aqueous phase and then the hydrocarbon phase on top and then the device itself which is in one meter in this case we're showing three things happening inside a common housing it's it has a temperature transmitter built into it in this case the actual element for the temperature sensing is right at the bottom of the 
the probe that would insert in the tank and I've labeled that temperature element. So that's a local element. This is the transmitter associated with it and of course we have the electronics for each of the floats associated with the element. So in each of these provide an output to the PLC. Or I should say input to the PLC. We'll go over that a little bit later. But that's a good case of where you have multiple instruments or functionality inside of a common housing. And um, I'm not sure I have the same. Yeah, I have the same thing over here for a speed controller. Uh, it's very common for a speed controller. Let's say for this example, this is a a very common symbol for a metering pump and many metering pumps have their own interface on the front panel local that has uh, you could increase speed decrease speed you could remotely control how fast they go that's what the speed controller would be here but built inside to that uh, pump is the ability to operate it locally with a hand switch that can be turned to on off or auto so what I'm showing here is a pump with functionality that is both local and it has speed control and th these other symbols here or how the control system interface with that physical device but this is a physical device these items here that are flashing as I hover you can see them touch them and interface with them with your fingers whereas these others are computer based um, there was one here not by Veolia Water but uh, I've taken that off. That was a custom symbol that I elected not to show. A um, couple, one other hardware device that's a play on the uh, circle is the pilot light. This is not hard to imagine. This is a circle with these just dashes coming off, which illustrate uh, presumably light rays. But this would be anything that that's used to indicate state by way of a pilot light. A uh, normally they're panel mounted um, and and so you'll see them with a the line through them but uh, they will indicate uh, something's running something has faulted uh, some light for some purpose maybe something's in motion uh, whatever there's a myriad of possibilities with regard to the use of uh, pilot lights but uh, that's that's what that final uh, play on the circle symbol means when you move beyond the physical realm of the world we all live in, which is the real world of devices and three dimensions, you move into the, down below the cursor line here, 